Hi, this video is about participating in a Twitter chat. By now you've probably have seen how to create your Twitter account and the basics of using Twitter and how Twitter chats can benefit you, but how do you actually participate in one? Well, first of all, you would want to find a Twitter chat that uh, appeals to you, uh, and these are conversations that happen weekly at certain times uh, of the week, and you might ask, well, how do I know when these things happen? And the first place you should go, I highly recommend uh, Cyberary Man, Jerry Blumengarden's page on Twitter. Um, it's an all-purpose page. He's a retired librarian, um, so he loves uh, to curate knowledge, uh, but he has a lot about PLNs. So go to cyberryman.com and then go to his educators page. Now, he keeps things up to date here, so he has April, Earth Day, and so forth. Um, on the right, he typically always has these links about Twitter. Um, he also has this chat schedule link. So go to that chat schedule link, and it's a separate website that's being maintained on where all the Twitter chats, the educational chats, are taking place. So when you go, you can see what's actually taking place right now, and you can look at it in agenda view, or month view, or week view, if that appeals to you. And um, my chat, the one that I am most often uh, participate, is the Ed Chat. Um, that's at 12 p.m. and actually at 7 p.m. It's kind of hard to see there. Um, I'll go to the official chat list. This is a great page where you can see a spreadsheet of all of the chats, and it goes by the days of the week, how often they have it, the hashtag that's used. So uh, the number one thing to remember about Twitter chats is that you need to use the hashtag in order to participate and find it. Uh, every time you post to it and you want it included in the chat, you need to have that hashtag and the description and then the times in the different time zones. Um, and they have that for uh, the United States, but uh, there are chats that take uh, place across the world. And so on Monday, my particular chat uh, is Ed Chat, and there's a number of them uh, that take place on that. I'm sorry, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. They actually have it twice a day. Uh, they have it at 12, and then they have it again at 7. There's so many of them. There, there's Ed Chat. Um, that's probably one of the most... Um, famous education chats out there, but there are lots of others. Uh, Project-based learning chat, uh, Virginia School Librarian chat, uh, professors chat, so presumably higher ed, uh, elementary music ed chat, uh, chat around uh, Google Apps for Education, that's another one that I take part in. Uh, so there are lots and lots to look for. I'm going to look for one that uh, just concluded uh, recently, and that was the uh, let's see, the New Hampshire chat. So these are New Hampshire educators, and it's about 8 o'clock on a Sunday night, and so they last about an hour. So I'm going to take a look and see what transpired. So it's N-H-E-D. Now, I could go back to Twitter and look up that hashtag and sort of sift through the tweets. That's one way of doing it, and you may want to try that. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, in this particular video how to use TweetDeck. There are a number of other programs that hook into Twitter. Uh, to kind of help you organize things. Uh, Hootsuite is another one, and you're going to see links uh, in the BFlex course uh, that is this is uh, accompanying, and uh, other um, tweet chat is another one. Uh, so I'm going to sign in with my Twitter information. I don't need to create another account. Uh, it's already hooked in. Um, if uh, you haven't signed up for Twitter, you'd have to do that beforehand, but if you already have a Twitter handle, just put that in uh, on the TweetDeck page at tweetdeck.twitter.com. I'm going to log in, and it looks a lot different than Twitter in that it has these columns, and it's easier to sort of see uh, things that are related to each other. So on the left, I can see home, and these are the columns that I currently have. And so my home is my stream of uh, everybody that I follow. Here's the Ed Chat, uh, the, the Ed Chat uh, hashtag that I follow. And um, actually, uh, people do tend to post to the chat hashtag on the off hours. Um, here there's one one minute. 
it's sort of to all the people who follow ed chat um so it doesn't have to take place during the official chat time um you don't have to uh, only interact at that time. You can choose to interact on other times on topics that are related uh, to what the chat is about. Um, I often uh, put Ed Chat in a lot of my tweets because they are things that the people who are on the chats would be interested in. Um, but we're specifically talking about live chats in this video. Here's a list that I have that I maintain. Uh, and notifications uh, when people interact with me. And then I have one for the Google Apps for Education chat. So how would I go about looking at this uh, New Hampshire chat? Easy, I go up to this search. And I actually did a search beforehand. So it's gonna pop up there, but I would have to type in the hashtag for the chat. And if it's an official hashtag, it will pop out here in bold. And then I'm just gonna click on add column. And it puts it on the end. And here uh, I'm seeing how many minutes ago that these were tweeted and this started at seven o'clock. So I want to look about uh, an hour and a half ago to see the beginning. Okay, and it's just loading them up here. And there's a lot that took place right at the same time. You'll find when you're doing the chat that everybody's chatting at once. So what I typically do is I find out who the moderators are. In this case, um, it's this Dr. Um, Nellie May. Uh, she happens to be the uh, moderator for this particular chat. And again, I have to go back about an hour. Here we go, eight hours, two hours. So this John Martin, um, he posted uh, to this chat hashtag, one hour until strange magic, the power and promise of ELO extended learning opportunities with Nellie May. And so um, there are lots of times where the moderators will kind of put things out to kind of say, coming soon, the chat's gonna start. I would recommend following the moderators for the particular chats you're interested in to catch uh, those reminders. That's really helpful. Um, and he posted again. Then he mentioned a guest host. And um, that's common that people will be a guest host for a chat. I was on an ed chat once where Arnie Duncan was the moderator, the guest moderator. And what basically happens is the topic, uh, there'll be a topic chosen for that evening. Sometimes they go to the people involved in the chat and let them vote for the topic. Sometimes they choose it, it just depends on the chat. Then there'll be questions regarding that particular topic yeah, and it just kind of jumped there. Did you see that? And then uh, then those questions will be asked throughout the evening. So when there's a guest moderator, they get those questions ahead of time. Uh, they're not making them up on the fly. So let's take a look at the format here. And again, uh, I have to pop down here because it jumped. So what they typically do and here's Nellie's welcoming, she's moderating. They'll ask everybody to introduce themselves. So, and then in this case, she talked about the form that they will put questions out with Q1 in front of it, and then asking people to answer with A1. And then you need to add that hashtag in your answer. So then the moderator, John Martin, okay, et cetera, et cetera. So these people uh, kind of said hello. And that actually was all happening at the same time because then the first question was put out. Does your school offer extended learning opportunities? If so, what sorts of um, ELOs do they offer? Then there's, you know, there's still people saying hello and everything and that was great, but eventually you're gonna start seeing the answer. So here's the answer. Um, the moderator actually answered it and put a one. And then they just continue, uh, people continue to answer and then a new question is asked. So it's a lot of interaction and people interact with each other during this. Uh, again, I would uh, highly recommend following the moderator for the chat so you could see all the questions and you're not relying on looking at the hashtags. And you know, that's basically it. You, you keep to the topic at hand and 
you get to interact with people that you otherwise may not, uh, because you may not be following them. But, um, you know, sometimes people just put out a statement. Sometimes they put out a, uh, link to, you know, support what they're saying. Sometimes they put out a picture. Uh, I was looking at a librarian, a, a reading, uh, chat, and there were a lot of pictures in the answers, um, which were pretty cool too. A lot of times they'll aggregate or curate all of the chat in um, something called Storify. So you might see after the chat a link to see all of the chat questions and answers together. But I'd have to say that participating live uh, is when you get to interact with the people. So I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend that you lurk and just get the feel for the chat and then start to interact and connect. And that's when the magic's going to happen. All right, that's it uh, with your Twitter chats. Enjoy.